In this video, I am going to solve KCT 2017 Mathematics Paper Part 1 from question number 1 to 10. Let us move on to the first question. This question based on the chapter uh, set for belongs to the first year. Uh, particularly, it is, it is based on the number of elements present in the given set and also the subset. So, see the question. If A and B are finite set and A is subset of B. So, if A is subset of B, we know that this implies number of A intersection B is equal to number of A and number of A union B is equal to number of B. Okay, so this is the answer. So check one by one by one. First option N of A union B is equal to N of A. N of A union B is N of B. This is wrong. N of A intersection B is equal to N of B. So, N of A intersection B is equal to N of A. This is also wrong. N of A union B is equal to N of B. So, it is correct. N of A intersection B is not equal to pi A finite set. So, this is wrong. So, option C is the correct. Therefore, option C is correct. So, this is easy question. All the students attend this question easily because they have already solved this type of question in NCRT textbook. So, usually they has one or two question on this chapter in KCET. Okay. So, take the. So, now let us move on to the next question. Question number 2. This question based on the chapter trigonometry belongs to the first year. Usually they ask one or two question on this chapter. So this question basically based uh, depends on the uh, condition uh, standard angles. So using using the standard angles, we have to find out the value of this uh, uh, term. So in this case, uh, we know that about uh, cos 45 degree. Cos 45 degree value is what one by root two, and sin 40, 15 degree is also standard result root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 using these two values we have to find out the value of this given condition so let us take this is cos square of 45 degree minus sin square of 15 degree is equal to cos 45 degree is what 1 by root 2 1 divided by root 2 whole square minus sin 15 degree root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 substitute the value root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 whole square. So, 1 by root 2 whole square nothing but 1 by uh, 2 to cancel 1 by 2 minus a minus b whole square formula a square 3 plus b square 1 minus 2ab 2 root 3 divided by 2 to the 4 4 to the 8. So, this can be written as 1 by 2 minus 3 plus 1 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 8. Now simplify this. We get uh, 4 ones are 2 2 is uh, minus 2 2 ones are root 3 2 4 is uh, okay. So now take LCM 4 2 2 is uh, 4 2 minus 2 plus root 3. So 2 2 get cancelled root 3 by 4 is the answer. So option B is good answer. So, therefore, option B is correct. Option B is correct. So, this is average question. Most of the students solve this question easily because this type of question already solved in NCRT textbook. Okay. So, take down. Now let us move on to the next question, question number 3, this question based on the chapter uh, sequence and series, particularly series, special series. Usually they ask one or two question on this chapter uh, in KCT, here take first uh, question. So I am not solving this question usual method using special series, but I am solving this question by using principle of mathematical induction. Put n is equal to 1. To the given options which options gives uh, first sum of the first term that one is correct in this case so put n is equal to 1 in this case 1 plus 1 plus 2 3 3 into 1 3 it is equal to 3 
but it is not equal to 3 it is also not equal to 3 it is also not equal to 3 so first term sum of the first term means what 3 so 3 is equal to 3 hence option e is the good answer therefore option a is correct option a is correct in this case this is easy question all the student attend this question easily because they have already solved this question in NCRT textbook but as usual method but in this case shortcut method is used ok so take down so now let us move on to the next question question number 4 this question based on the chapter complex number and quadratic equation usually they ask one or two question on this chapter in KCT let us check in this case uh, first uh, first one see the question if 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i to the power of m is equal to 1 then the least positive very important least positive integral values of m so we know that a formula uh, power of i power of i is what in this case power of i is i to the power of 1 is 1 i to the power of 2 is minus 1 i to the power of 3 is minus i i to the power of 4 is 1 now i to the power of 4n is always 1 for all n belongs to the any integer using this formula we have to find out the value of m so in this case let us take uh, 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i to the power of m equal to the 1 so already well known about the standard result 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i is equal to i of course 1 minus i divided by 1, 1 plus i is there minus i so here 1 plus i divided by 1 minus is there hence it is equal to i now put the value i to the power of m equal to 1 now m becomes what 4n so least positive integer nothing but in this case 4 so this implies i to the power of m is equal to 1 nothing but m is equal to 4 so this implies m is equal to 4 because i to the power of 4 is 1 least positive integer so another ne next 8 next 12 this these are the values of m first but least is what 4 in this case answer is 4 so therefore option b is correct got it so option b is correct this is ncrt direct question all the student attend easily because they have already solved this question in ncrt test book okay so take down so now let us move on to the next question question number five this question based on the chapter linear inequality belongs to the first year so see this question if modulus of x minus 2 less than or equal to 1 then find the x values solve this in equation okay so in this case we know that a formula modulus of alpha less than or equal to a this implies alpha greater than or equal to minus a less than or equal to plus a using this formula we have to find out the solution of this in equation so in the place of alpha x minus 2 is there in the place of a 1 is there so this can be written as uh, minus 1 less than or equal to x minus 2 less than or equal to plus 1 so here add all the term by plus 2 linear inequation inequal inequal does not alter in this case so add all the term by plus 2 nothing but a plus 2 minus 1 1 plus 2 minus 2 cancel so plus 1 uh, plus 2 3 so it is the answer this can also be written as x belongs to the closed interval 1 to both are included 1 to 3 so this is answer option e is the correct therefore option e is correct in this case so this is average question most of the students solve this question easily so take down So now let us move on to the next question, question number 6. So this question based on the chapter permutation and combination, particularly combination. So let us see the question. In this case, if nc12 equal to the nc8, then find the n value. We know that a formula, one formula is there. ncp is equal to ncq. This implies n is equal to p plus q. So using this formula we have to find out the values of n. So in this case uh, p is 
ट्वेल्व क्यू इज एट सो एन बिकम्स ट्वेल्व प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सो ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट देखो ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट सो दिस इज एन सी आर टी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ऑल द स्टूडेंट अटेंड दिस अटेंड दिस क्वेश्चन ईजीली बिकॉज दे ऑलरेडी सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक सो दे हेस्क दिस क्वेश्चन इन थियरी एग्जाम कैरिंग वन मार्क्स इन सी टी ऑल्सो कैरिंग वन मार्क्स ओके सो टेक द now let us move on to the next question question, question number 7 this question based on the chapter uh, binomial theorem so in this case we have to find out the total number of terms in the expansion of x plus y x plus a to the power of 47 minus x minus a to the power of 47 after the simplification will be equal to what so we know that a formula in this case the total number of the number of terms in the expansion of x plus a or y whatever it may be in this case x plus a to the power of n minus x minus a to the power of n is always n plus 1 divided by 2 n plus 1 divided by 2 if n is odd if n is odd so here in this case compare when we compare these two equation x plus uh, terms these two e terms sorry so x plus a to the power of n minus x minus a to the power of n here n is odd odd here also n is odd so we can use this formula directly we can write number of terms after the simplification we get so okay so in this case uh, n is equal to 47 47 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 48 divided by n is equal to 47. 48 divided by 2 nothing but uh, so 24. 24 is the answer. Option A is correct. So therefore option A is correct. This is easy question. but uh, most of the students solve this question easily so take down so now let us move on to the next question question number 8 this question based on the chapter a straight line belongs to the first year so let us see the question find the equation of a line passes through the point 1 comma 2 and is perpendicular to the line y is equal to 3x minus 1 usually there has only one question on this chapter in kct so we take this question in this case so already given data sir known line passes through the 1 comma 2 it is very important here in this case options are weak so easily identify the answer of this question the line required line require required line means what there are options one of the option is correct required line these are all required lines okay so which of option satisfies the 1 comma 2 point that one is correct okay so in this case 1 comma 2 substitute 1 comma 2 in option a so x plus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0 1 plus 6 Minus seven is equal to zero. Six plus one seven. Seven minus seven zero. Zero is equal to zero. Option A satisfies one comma two. But option B not satisfies. Similarly, C not satisfies. D is also not satisfies. So option A is correct answer. Therefore, option A is correct. Easy question. All the student attend this question easily. Okay, take down. so now let us move on to the next question question number 9 so this question based on the chapter uh, conic section belongs to the first year particularly ellipse so the eccentricity of the ellipse we have to find out eccentricity of the ellipse easily we can find out using one a formula <coughs> 
in this case let us take x square divided by 36 plus y square divided by 16 is equal to 1 when we compare this equation with the equation general equation x square divided by 36 plus y square divided by nothing but in this case a square this is general a square plus y square divided by b square is equal to 1 when we compare these two equation this implies a square is equal to 36 and b square is equal to 16 we know that the relation between a b c in ellipse uh, a square is equal to c square plus b square a square is equal to c square plus b square so in this case we have to find out c square value c square is equal to a square minus b square a square 36 minus 16 is equal to 20 now c is positive length it is length hence it take as positive c is equal to square root of 20 we know that uh, eccentricity we have to find out eccentricity. eccentricity eccentricity formula means e is equal to c by a so e is equal to c divided by a c root 20 but a 6 a square 36 a is also length positive a means 6 root 20 can be written as 4 phiza 4 take outside 2 2 root 2 root 5 divided by 6 2 root 5 divided by 6 is the correct answer option a is correct so therefore option a is correct this is ncrt direct question all the student attend this question easily because they have already solved this question in ncrt textbook so many problems are there these type of problems usually they has this uh, on this chapter in kct only one question so take them so now let us move on to the last question of this video question number 10 this question based on the chapter 3d which belongs to the first year 3d so now let us see the question the perpendicular distance of the point from xy plane I am not solving this question as usual method but I am solving this question by using graph we cannot use in this uh, formula in this case so using graph uh, easily identify the distance so three dimension it is we take three dimension figure x y z the point in the point is what six seven eight so in the x axis we can travel 6 in it y axis 7 in it and z axis 8 in it so this is the point is 6 7 8 p so we find out in this case the perpendicular distance of the point this point from x y plane this is x y plane this is x y plane so we have to find out the point height from x y plane this is x y plane so easily identify 8 the required answer is what 8 8 is the correct answer so therefore option a is correct so easy question all the student attend this question easily usually they ask five or six question on this chapter 3d in this case you take first question Take